Hi guys, I'm Dave. This is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer that I'm a big fan of. I've had a couple times. Um, and it kind of represents what I want to do with the channel and the type of things that I want to share with the channel. So this is Cigar City Highlight, which is, I would guess, one of their best selling beers. Um, it's their regular year-round IPA, it's very good. But this is aged on white oak. So it's not aged in white oak, it's aged on white oak. And so we'll, we'll get into that in a second. But first, let's, uh, let's pour this. The smell right off the bat smells like a regular IPA for the most part light pour, very light, almost like, um, although when it's in the glass, it's a little more amber than it looks like it's pouring. It looks kind of like the, uh, the American in we just did, which made me want to drink this like right after I drank the American in, because uh, it was so good and it reminded me of this beer. Um, for many of my friends that we talk about this beer, this is their favorite IPA. Take a first sip. And that is fantastic for an IPA. So, what Cigar City has done is they take their highlight and they take white oak spirals. And I'm guessing they get the spirals because I don't know if they use like some sort of chisel or something like that. And if you've ever worked with wood, if you, or even metal, if you shave off something, it'll often spiral. And they, they age, the, those spirals are in the beer and, and it, as it ages. And it definitely gives off a flavor that enhances the beer over the original iteration, for sure. Um, So it's definitely an IPA, so there is definitely some hops, but it's not over the top. It's not like, it's not crazy hoppy, but you get some other, other notes. There's almost like a, uh, like a vanilla flavor, which is very common with oak in general. And this is, this is white oak, so it's not charred or it's not barrel aged or anything like that. There's also some coconut notes, some very light, sweet coconut notes. This is good. Let's see what we got here for stats. Um, 7.5% ABV. So a couple of these will, will creep up on you pretty quick. An IBU of 70. There's, there, there's enough going on with this beer that 70 doesn't seem that, it doesn't drink like a 70, it drinks more like a 60. Cigar City recommends the appropriate glassware for this beer is a tulip glass. I've been saying I gotta get some tulip glasses. I really gotta get some tulip glasses. Um, $9.99 a four pack. So not over the top expensive, but definitely not cheap either. I think it's good for the price. I think it's I think that's a fair value. It's, I mean, it's just a really, really good IPA. If you like IPAs, this I mean you definitely should seek this one out. But it is a limited release. It's only released twice a year for two months at a time. It's released in January and February. And then it's released again, uh, released again in June and July. So last summer is the first time I had it, so it was on, the, on that release. I don't know what, I mean, it's just, it's such a, like the regular highlights, it's very, it's drinkable, it's just a good IPA. But this just adds a, a good additional layer of flavor and fullness and and it is a, it is on the slightly I don't want to say heavy but it's on the medium side it's not it's not light 
if you drink a couple of these, it's going to sit kind of heavy. But you can drink a couple of them because they're so, so refreshing and so tasty. The can's pretty cool. It's kind of like a black and white camo with, uh, I don't know, like the Predator infrared thing or something on there. I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on in the can, but it's, 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 it's recognizable for sure. On the back, uh, there's some stuff about about the beer. It says, uh, this American Oak Age version of High Life. Oh, this is an American Oak Age version of High Life. The oak adds smoothing notes of vanilla and a slight hint of dill to the aroma and flavor profile. I don't get any dill, but that's just me. Some people might. The finish is elegantly dry due to the light tannin notes from oak aging and through and though still loaded with hop flavor, hop bitterness is more restrained. I would agree. Um, it says drink fresh, do not age, pour gently into a glass. So some beers do well aging. I've noticed that more with the stouts and the barrel aged stuff that, that they mature in the can or in the bottle. This says not to do that. It's it's a great beer, I mean it really is. And like I opened up with, so this is a twist on a regular run of the mill beer. And that's what I like about it, is it's it sets itself apart, even though I mean tons of people have had highlight. Like, I, I'm guessing it's Cigar City's best-selling beer. But very few people have probably had the White Oak version. And I think, uh, with the channel, that's what I want to bring this stuff to you. This stuff, this kind of rare edge case stuff, I enjoy. And I want to share it with the viewers. First time I had this beer, I was so blown away with it. I rated it at 4.75, which I think is very high. Um, I don't think I would currently rate it that high. Knowing what else I've rated in that range, I don't think it quite holds up to that initial rating that I gave it. So I'm going to rate this a 4.25 today. It could have been that that batch was that much better. I don't know. I've drank an awful lot of beers between uh, then and now, probably a couple hundred. So maybe my palate's a little more refined. I'm happy to have this here in the winter. I'll be even more happy to have it come summer. So in order to get this, uh, a buddy of mine down in South Florida picked it up for me. I had him pick me up two four packs, and I'll you know, um, hot day. This is you can almost drink this after cutting the grass. It's real refreshing, but it is like I said a little heavier. So a couple of them, it's definitely going to sit, and at seven and a half percent, you're going to feel a couple of them. But, so I had my buddy pick a couple of four packs up for me because I couldn't get it up here, and uh, it has not disappointed. Well, that's the end of that one. So until next time, cheers.